Okay, uh, we shall start recording. This is uh, the ship I have. I just made it. It's called The Beginner's Luck. It's not a lot. It's uh has 1,100 fuel, not a whole lot. Um, 984 hull, not a whole lot. And 8,000 cargo, which is mostly used up. And I actually have a shielded cargo uh, unit on here too, which I haven't even used yet because I just put it on. It's got a class C reactor, level 24. I think that's one of the lamer ones. Uh, can take a crew of seven. Um, 30 light year jump. Shield. Oh, wow. Shields of 2240. Uh, laser 25. Ballistic 74. I need to up my laser so I can do more damage to shields and like take steal people's stuff. Anyway. Uh, there you go. Mass is only 3429. Um, it's basically just this little bit right here you see and then I, I just made the outrigger because it's so it's a maximum 40 meter width currently it's only a 36 meter um, well I guess it's an 80 meter width because it's 40 on either side of the center line and it's 36 on either side of the center line so I can have another 8 feet um, that I can add that's actually the width of, of a single width module I can add in distance to the entire vehicle um, yeah so it's it's pretty much relatively straightforward it's not a lot to look at I need to upgrade the ships but I can't do that from where I'm at right now I have a front loading bay and then a rear docking hatch and that's uh, all it is oh this ring right there that's for the shields and these two things here are my fuel tanks. I wish they could like have a cover like these guys. That'd be pretty awesome. So that way it would just look all smooth. But uh, that's good enough. And maybe, well, I, I'd almost move them to the back here, but you can't mount something in front. And it just looks okay, I guess. I mean, I could probably maybe find somewhere underneath to tuck them. So underneath here's your landing bay. Here's the, the uh, shielded cargo bay. Here is the... These two here are the grav drive and the reactor, I think. Oh, no. Let me think. I think this is the reactor and this is the grav drive. And then this is another cargo module that I forgot to paint underneath. Cargo module, cargo module, cargo module. I think one... Yeah, there's a few different cargo. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I have four cargo modules on either side, so I can still add two more cargo modules if I wanted to. But we didn't because the he he mass was getting pretty big, and I got plenty of storage. Anyway, so uh, there's the ship right there. Here we are at the uh, the nondescript location of my uh, outpost. No worries about that. Anyway, let's go uh, check this out. There, this is like really puts it in perspective how big these freaking things are. I mean, these are the la these are the lasers that I have on my ship. Those are the lasers. And then the one up above, that's uh, a Gauss gun, I believe. KFM, that's kind of cool. It has all the stuff right there. the other side of the planet and uh, bringing it down into uh, this storage unit and then that storage unit sends it into uh, that stack of crates back there anyway let's go into the ship we're wasting time um, one thing that's cool about the ship that I did took advantage of it's got this little raised section here 
pretty low, but it still lets you, you can run under the ship, not like under under, but like on either side you can run all the way underneath. And then those engines are just sitting out the back. Oh, oh don't fall off. See you later, freighter, in about 10 minutes. So yeah, there's the uh, yeah. So you can run underneath. So right there is like the uh, it's probably like the, the grab drive maybe, and then up here is the reactor. And then there's the uh, hidden cargo bay. And then we'll run up front. We got a couple pieces just to make it look like it's similar on the front. But hello, Captain. Hello, Vasco. Uh, right there, it says it's a ladder, but you really just click on it and you're in. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Always a satisfying oh, moment. Sometimes. What's up, Sam? So, right here is where you come up. Bloop, bloop. And that way would go to the uh, the cockpit. This is the thing's butt. So, straight back from this, we have a, a double unit. This your is, ship is way bigger than Dad's. Yeah, thanks. Um, this is like the command, uh, the command station, I believe. So they have a command module. So there's like you know a couple seats there and some stuff there for people to work on. Over here we have our medical wing, medical bay. Um, Sam, you're in my way. What's outside? Uh, nothing much. Anyway, he looks like he's going to be doing some research. That's an actual research lab right there. Hi, good Pharmaceutical to see you. lab here go in there's like you know just your standard med bay and then you come here this is the one of the all-in-one hab units uh the all-in-one births birth not birth as in b-i-r-t-h but birth as in you know your spot for a bed on a ship type place Sorry. there's a little a little communal area there little partition off spot and then you got some bunk beds and then some storage back here anyway Go back to the front of the ship and go back to the middle of the ship again once again uh there's the command console that's to the bridge over here we got our our uh, research or uh, what is it the workshop area right so i got a research lab right there i got the industrial workbench i got the spacesuit workbench i got the weapon workbench um and then there's you know windows outside that looks at those giant lasers there's just a little some storage here and then the next module here I have uh, this is an engineering um, hab so it's uh, basically there's tools and I don't know some breakers or something some pressure what vessels can I help you with? well while you're down there um, pressure vessels you know various stuff for engineering. Oh, an explosive container. That's great. Can I, can I lift it? Uh, oh, it's a small one. I can lift a small one. You better be careful. Can I lift the big one? Oh, I can. I can lift the big pressure vessel. Alright, be careful for that. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't think this is an actually a place where you can actually store things, but it looks like it's a place where you should be able to hang things. Anyway, so this is the uh, port side of the ship. Uh, we already saw the starboard side of the ship. So now let's go upstairs. Doesn't matter which way you go, left side, right side. Uh, there's a jump seat there, the main uh, pilot seat there, and uh, the jump seat there. You go straight back here, ta-da, captain's quarters. First thing right over here, well, I mean, there's this little area here. You got a, a loungy chair that's in the way of the door. I should probably put it over there. That would be good. Can I move it? No, I can't move it. It's there. That's just a bad place. They should put it there instead. Uh, anyway, you got your toilet um, and laundry, or that's just soap, or uh, uh, yeah, like towels. It looks like the whole thing closes, so you have to take a shower while you're in the toilet. Room. Yeah, it's kind of a crappy shower. There's a little work desk area. A um, little bed. That's where you can uh, make sweet love to your uh, your companion. Uh, working area 
there that you can send to the chairs. We have a, a navigation console here, so you could actually get in there and do the navigation that you want to do. And now the good room, the armory. So there's, uh, I think that's a pistol case there, storage. Uh, and then over here we have a, a heavy weapon case, another pistol, and rifle or shotgun. Uh, rifle or shotgun, pistol, and then there's a helmet here. Backpack stand there. Uh, backpack stand there and a helmet stand there. Some weapon racks in here with some backpack stands in between. No mannequins or anything like that in this particular one. I This is the Stroud, um, the Eklan Stroud brand of armory. Maybe I'll try some of the other ones just to see uh, if they look different, better, cooler, whatever. And then in here is uh, if you're docked to a ship, this is the docking collar right above here. So you would come in here and blap, tap that and it would open up just like the, the landing bay does. Anyway, so that's uh, the old upstairs. So notice, I mean, you have a stairway over here and it goes back up there, but uh, that's how you get out of the ship. Um, you go straight back all the way there through workshop and engineering, go straight back all the way here through a medical and all-in-one berth. And uh, upstairs you have the, uh, the captain's quarters. And I forgot what I put in the captain's quarters. I can't, oh, yeah, all-in-one berth, the captain's quarters, uh, the armory, no, yeah. Captain's quarters, armory, and a docking station. Just in a little companion way there. So there's the ship, and then you can uh, get into the thing. And I don't know. Let's let's try the maiden voyage and fly. Well, let's leave off planet. Ah, I'm sitting down. Exit ship. Can I? It won't let me zoom out. Let me zoom in, but that's as far as I got. All right, let's let's take off. See what this puppy looks like. Engines firing. Here we go. Insertion done. Time to dance among the stars. Boy. Uh oh. Back here, buddy. Let's add a little bit to engines. We don't. Oh man, I have like lasers. Let's add all the power to lasers. Oh, let's say, let's uh, take out your engines, buddy. Gonna be that way about it, then uh, we're just gonna dock with you and shoot you in the face. Solid docking cage there. Nice work. Watch for corners or hiding spots. They know this ship better than we do. Oh, pistols. I need to I need to do some pistol work. Is no one I would rather see right now. Nice. Of course, take your time. Right, well, that was that. Take over the ship or leave the ship. That was only two people. Oh, I am, I'm a little hurt. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, jump seat. Yeah, nothing. We don't care. This is a really tiny-ass ship, isn't it? Okay, we'll take your ammo.
Doesn't even have a... Oh, wait. Is that it? Gold. Vanadium. Do you have a lockbox? Captain's lockbox. I don't even see it anywhere. Maybe this ship is too small to have had a lockbox? I mean, I could, I could sit in it, but I don't really care. I don't, this is a dumb little ship. They were just too stupid. Um, there we are. Credits. Oh, thousand credits. Okay, some of that. Sure, we'll steal your, your loot. What else you got? Let's see here. I don't necessarily show up, but we have to find... They probably got some... Here... Oh, there we are. Black Market Antiques. I think you may be trying to take a little too much Yeah, on. I might be looting Literally. all the stuff. You just leave me alone. Full food spiced worms, baby. Yeah, we're, we know we're having for supper tonight. Uh, ooh, Chunks Choco, Canuck Tortier, or whatever that was. Um, books, 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 okay, nothing, 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 some barbells, Therabrew, alright, no, oh, that's nothing. Uh, oh, right here. Let's. Yeah, I only found the one thing of, uh, of loot. That's fine. Go back into uh, the beginner's luck, is the name of my ship. Now that we've exited, alright, we're gonna. Have any new books for me? Sorry, no, I don't, Cora. These are, uh, these lasers are pretty good. Uh, Ship's clear. It's just us among the stars again, Captain. Do they didn't, even, maybe because I stole all the stuff? That nothing is showing up in the, um... Collectibles. Anyway, there we have it. Um, the old ship. It's uh, nothing fantastic. It's uh, pretty pretty crazy. But uh, that's what we have. It it works. And that whole thing is because this that spar right here in the center of the picture, that's that's the center line. So when they shoot, that's most often where they will shoot at. And so I will get the least amount of uh, damage on to myself that there there really will be. And there's not really much a good view over that way. Taking some screenshots here real quick. Take it. Oh, let's see what's pinch up of there. All right, anyway, so there we have it. Ta-da! Our 
Garfield. All right, stop recording.